Bonjour, parlez-vous français? Ah, uh, sorry, what? Come again? Aber das ist nicht zu schreiben für das Flugzeug. What? What did you say? Eh, hey, que pasa, amigo? I don't understand a word you're saying. Ichi ni san shi go. What? I need an interpreter. If you can speak or understand the written word or the spoken language of any other language, why not make this skill and this passion of yours lucrative with the enormous number of translation and interpretation jobs that are out there? In this video, eight great sites where you can find online translation jobs and interpreter jobs from home. Also, where to find a list of the best translation and interpretation companies that you can look deeper into, and how to check the reviews and salaries of these companies so you don't get any nasty surprises. It's Rowan here from loveworkathome.com where we help you find freedom and work-life balance by sharing information on making extra side income, finding your work from home job, or starting an online business. So if that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button and Smack that bell so you don't miss out on the great content in store. Now, if you want a deeper dive on the content in this video or also more information on how to become a translator or an interpreter, our five steps to success, also translation and interpretation courses and certification, all that sort of stuff, there's a couple of blogs in the description below. Also, there's going to be a couple of videos popping up right now that you can check out. We've kind of created a trio of videos on this topic. Now, online tra translation jobs and interpreter jobs from home. Let's dive into it and get me out of the way. Get out of the way, man. So here's a list of what I want to share is a list of jobs boards and freelance websites and companies that combined have just an unlimited number of online translation jobs and interpreter jobs from home. So number one, as you can see, is Syracom. Now the second one is Globo. Hello, Globo. Option number three, we are already on to number three, is Flex Jobs. Number four is Upwork. Number five is Language Line. So this is for work with healthcare, government, uh, enterprise and small business, which it says somewhere down here. So they've got a careers page. If you, I think you actually have to scroll right down to the bottom of their home page here, and you hit that careers button, which will take you over to here. And you can, I, I like this claim, though, join the world's largest employer of professional interpreters. That's quite a big deal to make a claim like that. So you click on United States and the Americas or United Kingdom, depending on where you are. And that'll bring you to this page here where you can click on locations, whether you're Canada remote or California remote. Let's see what else they've got. A bunch of remote, 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 just stacks of remote jobs, which is fantastic. Part-time, full-time, all that sort of stuff. You can filter it as you see fit. Let's move on to number six because we're almost there is ServiceScape. So this is another freelance platform, but this is um, yeah one of the, or, or two of the main differences between this and the other freelance websites that I'm showing you today are this one, translation, as you can see, it's one of only four niches that are offered by this company. So I think they probably do other things, but as you can see, it's it's you know it's one of four that's smack in your face right there. So that's a really good sign. Also, instead of the freelancer placing the bid on this website, um, sorry, placing a, uh, a bid with, to a client and hoping they win the project amongst however many other freelancers are bidding for the job. On this platform, the client will actually look for the um, for the translation professionals and pick them out and pay for the service all in one kind of swift action. So that's kind of nice because, yeah, you know, you put your display up there and it's, you know, it, so long as you've making it look good and all that sort of stuff, then people are going to find you and hire you. So scroll to the bottom and click on. They've also got a little bit of a blurb here on translation services to broaden your scope. If you scroll right down the bottom here, you can do browse. Uh, yeah, how it works. If you click on that professionals, that'll take you over to this page. How it works, you do the work, we'll take care of the rest. So this has got a whole stack of information about increasing your visibility, earning your income, know your responsibilities, your profile, your projects, communication, responsibilities, earnings, frequently asked questions, all that sort of stuff. So. Because you've got to just put yourself on there and kind of that that's your marketing. This this website is, I suppose, an avenue of marketing yourself. You, then from there, you kind of to a degree have to wait for uh, people to, to find you, although there are other, are other ways to market yourself outside of here and, and bring people in. But 
because it's quite important to have a, a really good profile and something that catches people's attention so that they hire you amongst um, out of all the other translators, they've got a stack of good information here to really help you. If you follow this to a T and, and take their advice, then you can learn a lot about creating a great profile. Um, but it's it's really going to help you to get a leg up. So if this interests you, then you can uh, I think you sign in. You go over there, um, yeah, and that will take you to this page here where you hit translation. What happens if I hit that? It comes in here. You type in a bun bunch of information and get your job application on the way. The next site that I want to share with you is Fiverr. This is another freelance website. This is similar to Serviscape in the way that you put your profile up there. Um, in other words, you become a seller as Fiverr puts it and people need to come and find you. So this site was originally named um, based on being a site where people would go and for $5 get a little job done, but they've kind of shaken that because it just was a bit limiting. and. Their strategy is now that they um, most of the freelancers on there say, okay, I'll, I'll offer you a small piece of work for a small price, like five or ten dollars, uh, a medium-sized chunk of work for I don't know fifty dollars, and then a, a big chunk of work for two hundred dollars or something like that. Uh, obviously, in translation, interpretation, or whatever you want to do. Now, the translation um, is a focused niche within Fiverr, as you can see here. Now, if you click on that button there, it's going to take you over to here, and you can see that they've got a whole stack of translate from languages and translate to languages, so a whole bunch of languages um, on offer there. And well, you know how before I was saying a second ago with Serviscape, you've got to put your profile up there. You may as well be copying and pasting all that great profile information that you've learned from Serviscape and stick it into a, a Fiverr uh, seller you know, application and um, profile so that you know, you're know you spreading your seed a bit, you've got yourself out there on a couple of different platforms, then it's going to be easier for people to find you. You're going to have more traffic at the end of the day. So copy and paste your stuff across. I mean, have you ever been in an Uber taxi and you've seen that they're working like at least one or two other driving apps at the same time, of course. They they do that because they want to share the love and get as many jobs as they can. So, so you click in to here, become a seller. That will take you to this page here where you can join our growing freelance community and you're basically for, for people. It's create a gig, gig, deliver the work, get paid. Fantastic. So yeah, go in here and get started down the bottom there. Now, next one, I think it's number eight. This is number eight already is Indeed. Now, this is a great free jobs board. I really think Indeed is quite a powerful jobs board. It has two great features. If I had searched for translator, oh look, there's one I prepared earlier. Then you can filter by, come down this side here, you can filter by remote. Now, this is, I've done translator, this is in the US. There's 553 remote jobs at the time of filming this clip. That's a stack of jobs. If you click on that, I'll just click on, well, yeah, I don't really need to. We already know there's 553 of them. And there's, they're great jobs. Spanish interpreter, medical interpreter, independent contract interpreter, uh, Maraca inter independent contractor interpreter. So they're all super, super relevant. Unlike one of the sites I showed you before, I can't remember which one it was, but Indeed is just a great site. Uh, also, the other reason, it, um, other great feature it has is you can find a, um, a list of companies that specialize, as I alluded to in the introduction, specialize in uh, interpretation and translation. So as you can see, all these companies, you may as well go and do a bit of research. If you're getting into the field or getting into the space or looking for jobs, you may as well go and do a bit of research on these companies, hit their careers button and see if they are hiring too. So there's another bonus, what, nine places where you can find jobs. So, check, do your due diligence, and of course, if you want to know if any of these companies are good, hit up our favorite old mate resource of a glassdoor.com where you can check out company reviews, salaries, as you can see, T-Mobile, interpreter salaries, heaps of money. That's the way you want to do it. Hope you got something out of that. Have a fantastic day. As I said before, we've got another couple. I think they'll come on this side. Our other two, maybe that side, I don't know. Another two jobs in the translation interpretation space talking about how to become a translator and interpreter, five steps to success, also all about it. Um, what do interpreters and translators do day to day, how much they earn, all that sort of stuff. See you in the next video. Bye.